What is going on, everybody? Jimbo Thick here. We are back with more of the Expedition of the Damned. I am your GM, your DM for the night, Jumbo Thick, joined by almost the full cast of the uh, of the expedition here, the crew. Um, let's go and do brief introductions because we have a heck of a game ahead of us. Let's start off with the ever so lovable Dan Decker. Oh, hey, I get to go first. Hi, everyone. Uh, Dan Decker here playing uh, the uh, the quite lovable uh, lug of North Throat Ripper. Uh, he is a uh, uh, an ogre come human, pretty much, uh, because he's uh, he's taken up with these lads here, and uh, you know, smashing, cooking, healing, smash, cooking, healing. Got it. That's what I do. Uh, I love that he's he's our resident, you know, uh, healer. Sometimes. Oh, dog will fish you right up. Don't you worry, it's right. It's okay. <laughs> it's Get right. you patched right up. <laughs> Uh, let's slide on down to Jumbo Smooth. Hello, everyone. I am Jumbo Smooth. I play, play Luther Steinhauer. He's a six foot one human wizard. Uh, you know, red hair, green eyes. Um, you know, stunningly handsome, uh, attractive, you might say. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Has to has to just push the women off of him, um, but, you know. Uh, but but you know he's he's just a, he's just he's a wizard. You know, he's an official pyromancer now. He, he got his his official license, so he can practice magic legally in That's the true. empire. He's legal. Um, yeah. So yeah, See? he is. Well, yeah. technically, he's only seventeen. Um, Te- technically, still has a learner's um, permit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Let's slide on over to Nate. Hey everyone, Nate here. We're playing Lucien Levesque, a human duelist who is apparently a wanted man. About to confront my tracker along with Wolfram. So we'll see about that. To, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I just yeah. see where this goes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And last but not least, Pierce Galactic. Hey guys, it's me, Pierce Galactic. I'm again playing Wolfram Kistler, and I he is also a wanted man, but not as big not because he's attractive. In fact, I'm sure he's the ugliest of, of our entire crew. Mm. But let's see what happens here. I am um, I'm concerned about what's gonna be happening this session. I, I believe that uh the last thing I heard was you're on the list too. And so I'm just wondering, should we should we, should we shoot first or and ask questions later? Well, we'll we'll be soon to find out. Uh, mostly because last we left off, the crew having spent time uh, recuperating from the injuries and exhaustion of their previous tasks for the expedition, had some frightful dreams or possibly something darker. Having, um, after this time has passed, having eventually come together for a meeting of the various heads of the expedition, where the resources that were recently acquired amongst what they've been able to keep were laid out for the party to um, understand how either dire or how... Mm, slight their resources are at the uh, at their current disposition as to what they started with, which was quite a bit. Regardless, though, after the meeting of the various heads and taking stock of the resources, the expedition had two separate positions uh, on how to move forward with their new influence within Lashik. Feelers from both the Sultan and the head of the Black Neck, Black Neck, damn it, Black Net Corsairs uh, proposed a possible exchange with the crew here. Ultimately, you um, having weighed in, siding with Mistress Reyna and Nazaro Dialia to visit the Sultan. Um, much to the chagrin of Magister Weiss, who wished to parlay with the Black Net Corsairs. 
whom stormed out of the out of the meeting and said he would just go by himself. The after after this event took place, you escorted Mistress Reyna and Nazaro to the Sultan's palace, where it was proposed that from him he proposed that you root out the dark corruption, the influence that has been plaguing his city. After a green, you decided to follow a lead toward one of the many almshouses, a lead that uh, Lucien actually picked up um, through some some decent roleplay. <laughs> With uh, hopes of discovering why so many of the poor were amongst the ambushers from your previous endeavors, uh, when you were spotted by a man that had been plaguing Lucian uh, previous in his somewhat um, after dreamlike extravaganza. A man heavily armored, shrouded, wearing a black iron helm. As you approached the Elm's house, the nearest one that you um, knew of or were close to, all of you set on your task. All of you, with the exception of Wolfram. Wolfram was the one, only one amongst all of you that spotted somebody suspiciously eyeing the party. When you locked eyes with this gentleman, Wolfram, and he was a pretty decent amount away. He was essentially uh, across the street and a couple houses down. Um, and I should I say houses, you're not really in a housing district, you're in more of a, a broken down part of the city. Most of the lower section of Le Chic is not exactly, uh, it's not exactly prime real estate. You have a lot of dilapidated buildings. Some people are probably living squatting in some of them, but um, he is a few buildings down from the nearest alms house that you guys were approaching. Looks like he was possibly staking it out. But as he locked eyes with Wolfram, he noticed that he matched a description. And he said in a deep, grizzled voice, you're on my list. And that's pretty much what we're going to pick up. So, um, to give you a better reminder, because it's been a while since we have, you know, actually uh, met for the expedition. The man in question that you are looking towards um, appears to be... Uh, he has, like, tanned, weathered skin, obviously from the Empire. And he's wearing kind of an iron scale mail helmet with a thin slits uh, where his kind of, like, piercing green eyes stare out of. Um, he has a full set of what appears to be chain mail with thick leather boots and gloves a black cloak and sturdy reinforced leather chest piece that kind of dons his center his center he has a a bracer on his wrist that's exposed full of um, what appears to be the slender throwing knives he has a um a large gun of some kind um kind of hidden by his cloak um strapped to his back there's a massive knife on his leg that's so large it would basically be like a small sword. Um, there are several nets and various other contraptions hanging off his person. And that's what he looks like. So, do we? Uh... Well, what, the rest yeah. of you don't notice him. Only The okay. only one who notices okay. him is Wolfram. Wolfram is the only one okay. who spots him. You kind of hear him say that from kind of across the way to mm -hmm. give you guys distance. Now, you are on a street full of people. There are people milling about. This is uh, midday. Um, you're, not, you're not necessarily in the hustle and bustle of... Uh, of first thing in the morning or about to... or people getting home for the night. But still... Still, there's enough people out, out and about that were you not looking for him, it would be easy to lose someone in a crowd of people moving to and fro. To and fro. 
And you wouldn't notice, Wolfram, that his back is to an alley. But as you see him, and you guys are approaching the almshouse, your, your, your current destination, you will get an action Wolfram before anything takes place, depending on what you do, will set the tone of what's about to happen. So how would you like to respond to the situation? What's our marching order? I assumed that you pulled back a little bit. I'm assuming that the rest of them probably taken a, a couple steps uh, ahead of you, marching in the direction of the gentleman. They just haven't noticed him. Would it be an action for me to go up? Like, you know, it'd be some movement to go up and tell them and say, point them out. So, it's a. So, are you. All right. There will be a check involved depending on how you want to do this. Okay. So, are you just going to rush out and be like, there's someone there? Or are you trying to casually move up casually move up I was hoping that we'd be okay. together so I could grab Lucian and, and Henry or Luther next to me and say look at that man over there I don't like the looks of him he, I think he just threatened us but that, that's my end goal I don't I, it's, a, it's a street full of people so I don't think okay. my original plan was to start blasting but it's a street full of people so I think we'll wait well Wolfram you begin to move up towards your party at a quickened pace as you do, give me another perception test. Okay. I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll that right now. That's a 77. Oh, yeah, I mean, can... my perception's like super high, but not that high. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Every session, guys, all my fortune points go away right away. That is, let me see here. That's just two level. Two level success? Yeah. All right, let me roll for him. Okay. So Wolfram, you move towards your party. As you do, you notice like uh, a few people, uh, a few coworkers pass by the alley that he is with his back to. And you lose him for a second. He's gone. As soon as you kind of move up to your party to tell them what's going on. But then you spot him a lot closer. And it looks like he's invisible. It's like he's rapidly approaching you. It's almost like he slipped in and out of the crowd um, effortlessly. But he is rapidly approaching you at this point, Wolfram. All right. Um, I think I would like to tell my colleagues that he's on the way by pulling out my rifle and shooting him. Okay. You go to draw your rifle. We're going to have to, everyone's going to have to roll initiative at this point. Oh, (laughs) jeez. Oh, Lord. That's just the one D10 plus. Yeah, D10 plus your your initiative modifier. Damn. So that's a three. Let me roll this D10, oh, I got a 12. baby. 12 for D2. Wolfram. 11 for me. 11 for Lucien. And 11 for Nog as well. All right, Nog, Luther. I'll put you, What is that, Luther? I'll put you what after you Lucien because his dex is going to be a lot higher. Oh, yeah. He's probably way faster than me. All right, he's a ten. And Luther's going last. I don't even have. Oh, to well, mine's, his, mine's a ten, uh, well, actually. Yeah. Oh, so, you're just a ten, Lucian. Oh, yeah, okay. ten. Well, Luther's was actually eleven. Uh, Henry's was oh, okay, four. Okay. Luther's an eleven. So, yeah. Luther. That no, last roll was Henry's. And Lucian. Ah. All right. I mean, it's a standard Allen roll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chew right. that. Let's Let me do this real fast. Henry Berthold. Maybe we'll hold on a whole if, I, if, I, if, if I get a role play, I'm not going to lie. I'm excited about it. <laughs> you know. 
I can't yeah. wait. Have you got, have you, you got plans? <laughs> okay. Got plans. Oh, yeah, I got ideas. <laughs> All right. Like, oh yeah, As, Darby. I'll take care of it. So <laughs> the rest of your party is none the wary. The rest of you have what I like to call the surprise condition. Um, okay. Except for Wolfram. Now, you can use a uh, resolve point to remove the surprise condition if you'd like. You'll have to six, yes. you have to spend one if you're going to. Yes. I'm assuming all of you, are, since we're fresh in a session, you're going to do the, do so. Yeah. Um, Wolfram, you begin to draw your, your, uh, your handgun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which, with the specialized... Um, 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 sling? Yes, I was sling. What's it called? Why am I blanking right uh, now? Uh, uh, oh, damn holster? It. Holster. Um, there we go. Holster. Yeah. The specialized holster that you and Lucian worked on. Um, it effortlessly, you, effortlessly draws out. As it draws out Wolfram, the man in question... Whistles, Uh-oh. and as he whistles, that shot. well, that's funny oh, you wait, say that wait. because he might also have the same ability. I him. suspected um, that he um, probably has it better than mine. As he whistles, so two things are going to happen because he has a talent called prepared that doesn't exist for the rest of you. It only exists for you know this guy because I made him. What do you know? Bullshit. What do you know? <laughs> Surprise! You might be prepared uh, for a various number of events. Um, as a certain whistles, called plot device. Sorry, as he whistles, <laughs> I'm going to need Mary Sue. Nog, Luther, oh, Luther, Henry. Okay. Yeah, I think it's you three. Yeah, Nog, Luther, okay. and Henry need to make mm-hmm. a dodge roll dodge. at minus 20. Oh, Ooh. Why you got beat like right. that? All right. That is, is not my that is not my strong suit. Critical fail for Luther. Let's go. It would have been a critical PC. success. Uh, oh, that's way fail hard fail. Man, you yeah. guys should use those fortune points. I'm go- I'm gonna use a fortune point for Luther. Yeah. Okay. How about Henry? I just don't want a critical fail. It's still a fail, but it's not a critical. If it's okay. Much okay. Um, what about Henry? I'm going to do Henry. Let's see. Henry. Ooh. All right. I think that's a oh, critical no, fail for him. I re-roll for him, too. Uh, I don't want sure, why not? For him. That's not a critical fail, but it's a, so it's, it's several levels of failure. It's three. Everyone, so. Everyone's failed. Yeah, okay. at least by one. Yeah. So as he whistles, two things happen. Wolfram, first off, you're caught off guard for a second. Lucian, you kind of like, huh? And Lucian, you manage to step away from the rest of your party. Almost like you're, you're, the abyss, a bit of distance separates you from the other three individuals with Wolfram slightly behind you. And Wolfram, you spot as something gets tossed from a nearby building's huh. rooftop. I don't know. I called this earlier like, when we were talking about this. It looks like some kind of um, some kind of bag gets tossed oh. over the side. Does it remind Wolfram of the bag he tossed at that? Uh... It does not remind Wolfram <laughs> okay. of the bag he tossed because what happens is immediately the man in question, um, as he whistles, you watch as this this bag flies over Wolfram. You see it, and as it gets over the party, Nog, um, Luther, Henry. The bag tears open, and this foul-smelling powder coats the three of them. Um, I'm going to need the three of you to make endurance checks. Nog, you have a minus 30. Actually, no, it's a minus 40 for this check, Nog. And why Why is it that hard? You'll find out. You'll find out. It's specifically Listen, what it is. It's specifically what like, it is. I have to basically roll are, a one to pass this. These are well, terrible rolls, guys. You can always roll a one. I'll never, uh, I'll never succeed. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. 
All right, everybody's uh, everybody's failed. It looks like no. Yeah. Uh, Henry passed. Seventy-seven Henry. over twenty because Hen- minus Henry. forty. Henry passed. Um, unless he got a minus thirty-two. No, he did not. The rest, okay. the, the the humans do not get a minus forty to this roll. Okay, well he I failed um, okay. by a lot, um, and he 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 passed. All right, Henry is manages to keep his wits about him. He has a single blinded condition. Oh. As the powder kind of sinks, the foul power sinks into his eyes. Um, Luther, you have three blinded conditions, and you are limited to a. You can either make a movement or an action. You cannot do both. As long as okay. you have your blinded conditions. Okay. Um, what's blinded again do? Is it minus ten per blinded or something? It's like minus. That? It's minus. It's yeah. It's minus ten per um, skill that requires eyesight. Um, okay. I'll get you specifics real fast. Here we go. Yeah, minus ten to any test involving eyesight. Okay. Opponents also gain a plus ten to hit you. Jesus. Yeah. Um. Now, can they I, automatically they, remove at the end of every round. Okay, I was going to say, is there a way we can remove them? Now, you can or? remove one at a time with resolve points, but one blinded condition removes at the okay. end of every round. So We can't use an action to, like, wipe away. Uh, yeah, if you can. If you, if you want to try to use an action to do that, you can. Um, okay. However, for Nog, this does something a little different. Nog, what your human companions smell as disgusting froth... Mm-hmm. Smells like oh, what, man, would, what would I refer this to? It's it's better than that. It's almost it, ambrosia. It, it's almost no, sexual. No, ambrosia. How yeah. excited it's, you are! It's, it's, uh, it's ogre oh, no. ambrosia. It's ogre so ambrosia. it's so intoxicating, yeah. Nog. Yeah. And you failed your endurance check. Oh yeah, yeah. that you need oh, to consume this power. Uh, oh no, that's not good for me. You it? need to eat. Whatever it is coated on, and you have no, the need to do so. No, I don't want to eat so. my friends. I don't want to do. I don't want to eat my friends. You have the need to do so, um, for the next minute until what the stink wears off of them. What can I do to not eat my them. friends? Oh, minute. No. You can. You will be allowed to attempt a cool test at the end of each of your turns to see if okay. you can resist for the next round. Right now, I want to eat my friends, though. Right now, you want to consume them. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't want to eat. Oh. Right now. I don't want to eat you at all. All right. So, oh. Wolfram, Wolfram, as um, you both have a uh, fast shot, the man in Am question... Am I also blinded? No, you are not. You are not oh, blinded. Okay. I'm just hungry. It doesn't, it, doesn't, no. it doesn't affect ogres the same way it affects humans. What would you know? And this guy this guy knows this. This, 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 this. Uh, yeah, no, obviously, he's trying to obviously turn me against my friends. Possibly. Can we just redcon this and said I waved hello? It's too late. It's too late, Wolfram. Um, you've decided violence, so violence will ensue. That's Wolfram's way. The the bounty hunter, as he whistles, he draws out this very large pistol. It's almost the size of a handgun. It's it's extensive. When he draws it, it has three barrels that look like they rotate on a cylinder. Yeah. He draws this giant hunk of metal and points it towards you, Wolfram. And all he says before he looses the trigger is... Mm-hmm. And he's going to shoot you. All right, that's going to hit, Wolfram. Gonna hit the, it's going to hit the chest... Um, the viewers voted on the ammunition he was going to use. Damn you. Damn you all. Oops. So... What was, uh, what was it again? What was the ammunition? Um, I believe it was voted on a weird. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Weird. Yeah. So, Wolfram... We, we love shot. the viewer polls, by the way. Thank you, viewers. Yeah. The, oh, there was no right answer. I mean, <laughs> oh, there was plenty of right answers. They're all correct They're all answers. All right, exactly. Yeah. They're all correct answers. The uh, the shot rings out, hitting um, hitting Wolfram in the chest. For let me make sure. Thirteen. 
13 so wounds. too much. <laughs> I would, do, I would... Due, to the, due to the nature of the ammunition, it will bypass your armor. It goes straight through it. Oh, it's one point anyways. I would like to use a fate point to avoid the attack. To avoid the attack completely? I, will, I mean, I'll be unconscious. I mean, I'll, then okay. that's like a critical wounds immediately. I tell you, well, since you're using a fate point, it will completely miss. It won't tear through you. Somehow, as okay. he as as he goes to fire, by uh, by a fateful encounter, you slip slightly on a rock, and his aim's off just Whoa. a little bit, and it grazes by you. Um, he is going to fan the hammer, and he's going to take two oh. more shots at a penalty. Oh, Jesus. So he has a minus 10 penalty to this is a shot. He's going to take one more shot towards you, Wolfram. It's 21. That's going to hit. Uh, I do believe that is... It's your left arm, Wolfram. You're going to take... That's even more. 14 wounds, Wolfram. That bypasses armor too. It does. Okay. So if I go over, like I lose, it's not just like I go to zero. I go past that. That's an automatic. Is it one critical hit or how many critical? Hits? It's an automatic critical wound if it takes you past zero. Okay. Should save my fate point. Question: um, Is he? Is he? I can't see. But does it does it seem like he's trying to like uh, capture Wolfram? Guess we'll find out. Okay. Um, I guess uh, I'm I, I'm I'm down. I don't want to use another paper okay. just yet. So. All right. That will bring you down. Let me go ahead and roll a critical wound for you, Wolfram. Did that destroy my armor, or oh, or did it just go through it? It goes it goes straight through it. It bypasses okay. armor. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll a d100. No whammies. Nineteen. Nineteen's good. The lower, the better. It's my first critical hit of the wound of the campaign, guys. So a nineteen. It is. It, it's just a bleeding cut, Wolfram. Welcome to the club. So it slices through your your left arm. Praise it the doesn't. Great horn. Oh, I mean, it doesn't hit an <laughs> artery. It hits. It hits probably. It probably rips through a vein, though. Good enough to where a good yeah. amount of blood spatter just smashes out onto us. Uh, just splatters across the floor, and you begin to bleed profusely. Um, you have a single bleeding condition. Yeah. Because you're at zero, you instantly go unconscious if you have a bleeding condition. So Wolfram is down immediately. The third shot, he pivots over towards Nog because he's the biggest I mean, oh you got lucky he rolled an odd number Wolfram that could have been a lot worse alright Nog you're a big target unfortunately Nog and you're blind so that means is going to hit gonna he's hit not blind chest. oh wait no you're, yeah he's not blind he's just ravenously hungry for sex he's hungry. you know what he's smart enough to know that Nog's probably under his effect. He was going to go ahead and shoot Henry instead. Because Henry's blind. Oh, no. The poor he's lad. Gonna sh- he's going to shoot Henry in the chest. Um, go straight through okay. his plate armor. He's going to take... 12 wounds. 12? Okay. Mm-hmm. And I also rolled odd, so he doesn't have to roll for anything else. Damn it. He's still up. He's still up. Yeah. He gets hammered in the chest. Nice. <laughs> he he fall he falls back, bleeding. Not as bad as Wolfram, though. That is going to be the end of the bounty hunter's turn. As the oh. barrel's smoking, the crowd immediately begins to disperse around between between the two parties here. Yeah. There's about a sixty foot difference between the two of you. As the smoking barrels just kind of like begin to dissipate and he he quickly slings it back over his um, his shoulder. Next, an initiative. 
Wolfram, you get to roll me a d100. If you roll below a 10, you've died. Oh, shit. All right, well, pretty, pretty safe on this one, I think. I hope so. 78. Okay, you're good. You're good. I would, um, would have totally rolled that room. You, you have a... You have do a, I get to do like a cool test or an endurance test to try and wake up or... I gotta wait once for you're, once to you're unconscious, you gotta wait okay. for someone to give you a wound. However, Wolfram, you have a bleeding condition. You, every time your turn comes around, unless your bleeding condition is removed, you'll have to make this death roll. Um, you can use a resolve point to remove it. Oh, I'll do that right now. Okay. Yeah, so you go ahead and remove, okay, cool. remove that. Wait, is that removed or is that just removed for this round? It removes it for this round. No, it's removed total. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. sorry. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's gone. All right, just keep track of all your resolve points. I know you got to be running on like one left or something. That's exactly right, one left. Okay. All right, next in initiative is Luther. Luther will uh, use his action to question when uh when the i guess we didn't see i did we see like where that bag came from or we just saw it from the rooftop did anyone catch a glimpse of like was uh, there someone else that threw it or we just no none of you were perceptive enough you wouldn't have you wouldn't have seen it you you would have okay. seen it get the bounty hunter didn't throw it someone else threw it another question yes um, did did luther get a, a glance at the bounty hunter before this all happened since you guys removed your um, your surprise conditions, I will say that when the commotion started, because people would have started seeing guns drawn in the street, people yeah. would have started people, near nearby people would have noticed Wolfram and begin to move. You would have probably at least looked over and kind of saw Wolfram <laughs> squaring off with this other man before he got shot. Do I know who he is? Make, make me a, a, a lore empire check. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just for the fans, you know? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. For the fans, uh, not 95, not going to do it. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, there's no way. Uh, <laughs> do you recognize this man, Luther? <laughs> all right, all right. Not, well, not then, at least at a quick uh, glance. Okay. Uh, Luther is going to take his action to... Uh, to... This poor guy. I don't know who, who he is. Um, I'm going to uh, try to wipe away whatever this stuff is. I guess. Okay. Um, it is. It is almost. What's What's funny is it looked like kind of like a powder at first, but that is, as it's coming into contact with your skin, it's turning almost like a like a tar like substance. Is it like adheres mm -hmm. to your flesh? Um, so you begin to try to like goop it off of your eyes in particular. Mm -hmm. Um, you will need to make a. Where did I have this? Da -da -da. I had a list here, and I can't find it now. I think it was. You don't have um heal, correct? You don't have a. Uh... No, I don't have heal. You don't have heal. Uh, what else would we use this for? Hmm. What skill do you want to use that makes sense? Uh, I don't know. Um, you got to sell me on something. What are you doing? think of it is probably like these skills don't really seem to apply I guess I could maybe like I don't know. it's a stretch I, I, outdoor survival I don't know uh, I, don't know what I can kind of think of I, I guess okay. I could do like 
Uh, okay, okay. Another one of my basic skill at least would be like. Um, Do you want to use your magic spellcasting trait to to possibly literally burn it out of your eyes? Uh, that would be uh, the best for me. Um, I will allow it. I, However, I, if you fail, you will have to roll on the magic miscast table. That's the only. That's the uh, only difference here. But you know, you have a higher chance true. of success. Do I? Will I be at a minus for the this? Technically, magic casting only requires no. my voice. Yeah, yeah, and if, for the nature of what it is, I won't. Yeah, you won't be at a negative for what it is. Okay. Uh, I will do that. Then. I hope I don't roll too high. Uh, that's four levels of success. Four levels of success. You only needed three. Luther is able to intones some some magic words and as he does flames literally begin to lick up out of his eyes and burn away the tar like substance that quickly melts away smokes into the air nog you smell a cooking delicious treat as he is still coated with the delicious substance and now it is it's being cooked for you that's (laughs) that's that's so unfortunate it's very very thoughtful for him i don't like it at all You know, Which, uh, you, that's the end of see a salivating Nog. Yes, and <laughs> what yeah. what do you know? It's now Nog's turn. Oh man! So I can make a cooldown test. You said at the end of your turn. Um, oh, for your, so what do I have your to do actual to turn? You have to friend. try. Well, you're you're for this initial turn at least. You're going to have to try to eat one of them. So I will let you either choose Luther or Henry. The choice is yours. Oh. I gotta go with Henry because I'm just like Luther. I can't eat my guy. Exactly. You know. Uh, you no. have a plus. You so have a plus, sorry, Darby. Plus ten to this roll because he's blind. Oh, I don't, don't want to um, make this roll. Go ahead and make me a melee brawl. What's the difference between that and is that just basic? Uh, no brawl separate. So if you don't have uh, brawl, it'll be just your melee uh, weapon skill. Yeah, I don't have brawl. Okay, so just roll your weapon skill, and this is for a bite attack. Yeah. I hope you hit. I don't. A 72 okay. under melee basic is a 73, so that's a fail. Oh, oh. oh no, no, just just your just your your melee, your weapon skill. Just your weapon oh, skill. Oh, this weapon skill is 52, so okay, I yeah. rolled a 77. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay. Even with the 10, that's a fail. So that's going to be 52, so you're looking at two levels of failure. Yeah. Roll for Henry's defensive skill. Um, he can't no block God. Nog's teeth, so he's gonna have to try to dodge them. And he has a minus thirty to the roll, yeah, because of his blinded conditions. Oh, that sucks. So even a not so good Nog might still bite into him. Uh, Come on, Henry. Here we go. Come on, Henry. Dodge. Not a good chance. Come on, Henry. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's not bad. Let's see how how good it is. How good is it, Luther? Uh, let me see. At a minus thirty. He has a minus thirty because the yeah. Uh, yeah. Even if I use a fortune to. Is it my? Is it negative? Does he have uh, two levels of failure? It would be two levels of failure. It'd be if I use a fortune point. It would be one level of failure. Then he would pass. He'd be fine. Okay. Then yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Barely. Somehow. Um, Henry's able to move. His Nog lunges and just chomps right where he was a second ago. So he's trying to scrub the tar out of his eyes. I just I just tell him, you know, to get out of the way as I'm taking a bite for him. Well, give me a cool test now, Nog. All right. This, is, this cool. is how you can try to shake out of this gonna cool it now come on two 45 under my cool of a 53 yes okay okay the nog with a with one level success you're able to kind of oh, shake you, it you, off you, after you, I you chomp down you're like oh shit oh, yeah. and 
Yeah. Luckily, you didn't kill any of your companions. Like the, the, you felt uh, the earth. Cool. force with which I clenched my jaws down kind of shook yes. me back. You're you're shaking aback with even with your eye patch. You're still kind of like oh. And as you as you look around, um, still Luther and Henry smell delicious, just not enough. It's just not as intoxicating as it was before. Right, and th- that's it though. I don't have any actions of my own. That's it, moment. unfortunately. Right, okay. So I can't go help uh, Wolf. All right. Next in initiative is going to be Lucien. I'm scared, Lucien. I'm scared. I'm right. scared. <laughs> I'm scared too, bro. <laughs> so I'm assuming that I can see this guy who just can. fired three shots. He did. At my buddies. It, one of them, and he looked like he was pointing, for the most part, he was going for Wolfram, who he downed, and then he put one through Henry's chest too. And you do recognize him as the man that was pursuing you um, yep, earlier yep. that day. Um... This is real bad. This is real bad. Uh, I'm just going to pull out my pistol. Okay. And I'm going to spend a resilience point. <laughs> to, to, to just to shoot? I got it. This, right. is, this is real bad. You, you pull out your pistol and you kind of point it towards him. All right. What is the maximum damage you can deal with your pistol? That is going to be... Crap, this is my first time using it. Uh, Nine is the base because it's eight for the pistol, and depending on what the normal ammo is, a plus one, too. Yeah, just a plus one for it. So, normally nine. And then your multiple your success levels. Mm-hmm. That would so, be what's 13. your. 13? Okay. Yeah, 13, 13 wounds. wounds. Let me. All right, 13. Gonna bypass his armor. Um, what part of the body are you aiming for, Lucian? You get to pick. He's got a helmet on, right? He does. I would say the neck. Okay. All right. Um, if that so if the helmet doesn't include like a gorgeous so, or something. So yeah, there's like there's like chain and stuff. I'll consider this part of the helmet. Um, he is going to sacrifice a piece of his armor to not get a critical hit. However, you are going to bypass the armor and deal direct damage to his body. So that is going to be so, okay. That brings him down to. I got to do all this math. Damn it. All right, brings him down to that. As a piece, a big piece of like chain link um, that was like coming down and kind of like covering most of his neck just explodes off. As you rip into the flesh, he kind of like takes a, a few, like a pace back, Lucien. Is that going to be it? Uh, yeah, for, for that turn. Okay. That will then bring me to Henry Berthold. Um, Henry has one blind condition. So, well... You say he loses one blind condition at the end of the turn. At the at the end of the round, he'll lose one. At the end of which the round. is okay. at the which is, at the end of his turn is the end of the round. So oh, okay, well then, um, he's going to move. I don't know, how far away is he from the bounty hunter? Um, he was sixty feet from Wolfram. Well, probably we'll put about the same for the for the rest of you. Okay. He'll move a little bit closer. 
Okay. He's, he's, I don't. I don't think he can make it all the way there. Um. But um. He's gonna move a little bit closer. But that's all he can do since he can't. Um. Okay. Yes. Yeah, really do and do much else right now. Mm-hmm. He, he can't. He can't really do. He, you know, he can't attack. He can't use an action either. So. Yeah. Um. All he ha- all he has on him is is weapons. Jeez. Yes, of course. Yeah. He has nothing else. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's much, solid. It kind of like stumbles in that direction, wiping at his eyes. He's in the round. He loses yeah. one of his blinded conditions. Okay. Ah. Um, but yeah, that's about all he can do. Okay. All right. That brings me to the top of the next round. The bounty hunter. As he like clutches at his bleeding neck. <sighs> that hurts. He's going to um, reach down to his wrist where he keeps his throwing knives and he is going to throw three of them at Lucy and Levesque. First one misses. Um, Unfortunately, they're not dodgeable unless you... Well, I'll tell you what. No, you don't have that skill yet. Hmm. I was going to let you, like, if you had a cape or something, you could try to, like, catch him. Mm. Oh, that'd be sweet if you could. First one misses. Second one misses. My God, I'm rolling like shit all of a sudden. Third one's going to hit, though. Third one's going to hit the... Right arm. Um, it is an even number two. Yes. All right. Oh, jeez. Cool. Okay. So it pierces into your right arm. Ah! Um, and he kind of like like puts three of them like between his knuckles and just throws all three at once towards you. Um, two of them kind of clink off some of your armor harmlessly. The one of them sticks true though, goes in deep. You are gonna take. Nine wounds, Lucian. Right, and subtracted by my toughness bonus. Yes, by your toughness and any armor you have, you could subtract that. I'm actually wearing bracers. And I will need you to make a endurance check, Lucian. Oh, jeez. That's a success. Okay. Um, I'm assuming by quite a bit with the 29. Yeah. All right. You are, you're fine. You don't find, you don't feel any adverse effects other than you almost feel like something coursing through your, through your blood as the, as the knife digs in. Um, He's obviously coated his blades in something. All right. Um, As he, at the end of his turn or but before he ends his turn, he kind of like takes stock of the situation. <sighs> he grunts in displeasure and prepares for the next round of combat. All right, that will bring me to Wolfram. Unconscious. Um, yeah, do you have any I've more? Don't have do you any conditions. To... You do not. Do you have any more resolve points, Wolfram? Yeah, I've got one. Since you don't have any other can conditions, I... you can spend a resolve point to gain one point of uh, of health, which which I will happily do that. Will yeah, will now I still do... give me an action, or do I have to wait till next turn? No, you basically just get you up for now. You don't get an action yet. Okay. However, right. however, um, you do have a fatigue condition because you were bleeding, <clears throat> so okay. you can add that. But that's it. So Wolfram, you kind of like kind of like sit up, clutching your arm, like. Shit. <laughs> As you've come to wakefulness for now. What is happening? All right. That will bring me to Luther. It's your turn. <clears throat> um, 
<laughs> Nervous. The Luther is uh, Luther is going to take stock of the situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, the foul smell! Um, and he's going to try to cast a spell. Oh, um, okay. What's he going to try to cast? He's going to try to cast Ignite on a bounty hunter. Okay. Um, whatever his mysterious name is. Um, <laughs> go ahead, go uh, ahead and, and attempt to cast your spell. Okay. That will be... Uh-oh. Um, that will be... Uh, it will. It's enough. It's enough to hit. Okay. But, it's a success. Uh, four. It's four levels of success. Okay. Um, because of my new ropes. Um, but yeah. Um, he's on fire. He is. Um, mm-hmm. He gets. He gets a two. Two ablaze conditions or one. Yeah, he gets two ablaze conditions. Okay. Two ablaze conditions. Um, and he's loaded with gunpowder. I don't know. I mean, oh, I don't know how you want. I don't know how you want to rule that. I, how you want to rule that one? Just, you know, he's on I'll fire. Think, I'll think about that every time Wolfram gets lit on fire. Then if that's the way I'm going to play I, this. But it's perfectly fair. Perfectly fair. Oh shit! I'll make that concession. I'll make that concession. It's not my character. <laughs> Um. All right. So yeah, he is took his first critical hit. Oh, he's fine. currently on fire. He's a survivor. Uh, that will bring me to Nog. It's your turn. Oh, now I can do something, huh? You can. Uh, so Wolfram is back and he's fatigued. Yes, but he's he's alive. Okay, so he's up. He, 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 he just kind of sits up. He is super fucked yeah. up, but he sits up. He looks he looks pale. Like a lot of his blood is laying on the street next to him. It would benefit him if I did a heal on him. Oh, does Nog want to come up and try to heal him? Well, I don't know. If that or I should probably eliminate the threat first. Go uh, kill him! Since he's not dying yet, kill him! Um, all right, so yeah, I'm just gonna go go in, uh, you know, big big uh, big club swinging, okay. centaur as it were. Now you get you get 40 feet of movement, Nog. Mm-hmm. How far away is this guy? Um, actually, no, you get more, I think. Fast. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's I think you get, think he gets five. Six. I have 50. six movement. You, you get 50. Oh, six movement. 40. Yeah, I have 60? six movement. I have six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 60 so feet six. of movement. So you can actually get to him, Nog. Yes. All right. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna regret the day he threw stuff at my friends. Only All seven. Right. He's kind of like he's on off. fire. He's trying to. Put go, the, oh he's yeah, put no. The so does that give me this since he's on sucks. fire? Does that mean does I get not some give you anything advantage? Extra. Oh well, because <laughs> it should. Because an not. eighty-five is not good. Um, he gets a <laughs> success on his um on his dodge, and as yeah. he dodges away from you, Nog. Yeah. He is going to slice into your thigh. Yeah, but um, he's on fire. Uh, it doesn't like matter this. if he's on fire. As he instantaneously draws his large, like, knife, uh-huh. gouges into your thigh. Oh, that's what is this move? This is noise. 11 wounds, Nog. You will take. Well, I don't get Champion. to defend? Nope. What? You take it as. Wounds. You, it's almost what? like it's almost like you try to you, you try to you try to slice him and he T- ducks but underneath your like blade and slices into your leg. And, now, you know, if you have any, ah, if you have any armor on your legs, I don't think you do. You could I subtract don't. that, but you can subtract your your um, toughness bonus. Okay, so to take off toughness from that's four, so that makes it what seven? Seven wounds. Yes. He did not roll a crit on his defense. Okay. He doesn't need to. Mm. Even if you roll, even if you roll a crit on a dodge, you don't get to. Attack, do you? So, so there's these little traits for enemies in the book that you guys don't get to be a part of. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. There's one called champion. Yeah, Every time you really attack good. somebody, and if they have the champion trait, they can retaliate against you if you fail the roll. Mm. Yeah, if you miss, they this hit guy, you. This guy's got a lot of talents and characteristics. <laughs> sounds like it's like, oh no, he's he's like he's made out of asbestos. He doesn't catch on fire. No. <laughs> 
Instead, you catch on fire. That's it, Nog. That's it for Nog's turn as he gets sliced in his leg. Lucien, it is your turn. Uh, how close can I get? You can move 40 feet, so you're going to be within 20 feet of him if you are if you want to pursue. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. You, make, you move the 40 feet up. Draw your sword, I'm assuming, at yep. this point. Do you yep. stow the pistol, or are you going to try to reload the pistol? No, I'm going to... Well... If I can't, uh, now I can't attack. When you when you move, you take a penalty to reloading, but you can oh, attempt. Okay. I mean, I might as well. Okay. I can't do I anything think, else really. I think it's a minus twenty. Might Jeez. be minus ten. I think you gave me a minus ten when I did it. On a yeah, minus ten, minus ten penalty. If you're moving that's and just loading the, at the same time, is that just the uh, ranged black powder skill? Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. You got to get underneath okay. it. That's a, that's a... You got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, two levels. Just one success level. Yeah, you only need one so for, a pist- for, for a we, pistol. So you're able reload. to, as you're kind of moving up, you're able to reload it, Lucien. That is going to be it for Lucien's turn as he gets ready to rock his world, hopefully. Uh, last but not least, Henry Bertholdt. It's Hello, his Henry. What's Henry doing? Nothing. Dying. Sorry, I was uh, texting Alan on his uh, current status. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will, or uh, Henry is going to um, move again to try to get in melee with this guy if we can. Okay. Um, he's going to be wielding his shield and axe. Um, How dare he? You know he's moved to his two-handed weapons. How dare you? <laughs> Henry, Henry's got a, a new lease on life. He's, he's got a... He's, he's got a new... Uh, oh, we're cautious. Yeah. I mean, he took a massive hit. I'm not going. That's why. So, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. But he's going to... Can he make it to him? Can he make it to Um. The, did he move him? the previous round? He did move the previous round. Uh, he was blind. I'll say, yeah, he's able to kind of make it to him. Is he not blind anymore? Or does he still not has... anymore. He's not anymore? Okay. He only had one blind condition. And That's right. He only had one. Okay. Round. Yeah. So I'll say, yeah, he'll be able to make it to him then. Okay. Rolling for an attack. Uh, 36 out of... 69. So that's three levels. Three levels. Nice. Three levels success. I only have two levels success on his block. Um, it homes through. Um, I think that's going to be a shoulder. 36, 36. Yeah, right arm. It's his blade okay. arm. The axe comes um, down, hacks into him. How much damage are we talking? Uh, that would be for him. It's four plus four, eight. Plus three, um, 11, plus one, 12. 12 damage. Um, plus, if his shoulder is armored, he'd lose a point of armor. Yeah, he has a hack. hack. Yeah, because he has a, the axe actually hacks through um, some of the chain yeah. mail. Right, so that's going to bring him down to. So, he did 12, correct? Yes, 12. That's. I'm doing the math. Okay. Doesn't deal as much damage as uh, he would hope. Um, he is heavily okay. armored. Or, uh, yeah. Mainly, why? As he slashes <clears throat> into him. He, he cleaves through some of the, some of the chain and hits flesh <clears throat> beneath. But it doesn't. It's not like a good solid blow. So he kind of <clears throat> pull, pulls back. The man's bleeding as he's he's quickly being surrounded. <clears throat> And that's going to be the end of Henry's turn. He will take his damage uh, now, uh, his fire damage. Uh, yes, yes, he will. 
You want to roll a d10? Uh, I guess. Fuck! I'll take four damage. Four damage. Which, it which does five. bypass his armor. It just doesn't bypass his toughness. Yeah, it doesn't bypass his toughness, so he takes it's one still wound. One wound he, takes, though, right? he takes a minimum of one wound, so he takes okay. one yeah. wound. Because he's, <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah. he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. Some of the flames kind of lick he's up, lick up across him. He's <laughs> All right. It is now the bounty hunter's turn. The bounty hunter slowly being swarmed here at this point is um, going to grab a sphere off of his belt. And like he says, as he grabs it, he says, "I'd like to see if I can take a shot at him first." I mean, he has the same talent as you, Wolfram. Where are we going to duel for this every time? Well, I mean, if he's not, sh- is is he shooting? It depends on how you want to play this, Wolfram. All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. It's up to you. What he says is, he says, "I only want those two. The rest of you can leave." Now's your chance. You Which still two does he want? He wants a wolf from the new house? He he he, he, I don't even know if they know. Yeah, we don't. Uh, you they, yeah, you guys they, don't, don't actually know. Oh. Do we get a chance to respond? Or is this just having sure. a Sure, sure. Uh, who are you after again? Two murderers in your midst. I knew it, Henry. <laughs> he will pull the orb, and as he pulls it free from his belt, there is a sizzling noise. And he drops I it. He's on fire. He is that on fire. He drops it at his own feet. It instantaneously. <laughs> A cloud of smoke, one might say. Yes. Everyone is blinded within the cloud, completely blinded as in unable to see. How big is the radius? It is a 10-foot radius. Well, I know I'm okay. stuck in it because I was right on top of him. Nog and Henry are completely um, engulfed in this Nog is too tall cloud. to be affected by such a small cloud. He is affected. <laughs> He's looking downwards. Oh God! Like, Damn it! Um, is it the smell good stuff? And you—it does not smell. It just—it's just, it's just okay. a regular kind of like. It's almost like a a version of black powder designed to just obscure. It doesn't oh, yeah. do any actual damage. And that's the end of his turn. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. All right. Next in the round, Wolfram. I can't he, see anybody. You cannot see anybody around him or him himself. It's just obscured in this black cloud. Can I see the spot he was standing in? It. Uh, so you saw him. You saw where he was, and he didn't. He didn't really move much mm-hmm. um, from where he mm-hmm. and where you initially um, took action. The cloud stays until the end of the round. He so right now, he is on fire. <laughs> I don't know what you're telling me. I I'm can tell you. From, like, I can tell you from, I'm sure it's really I'm easy saying, for him to, to hide. I can tell you fire. from personal That's my point. experience. Yeah, he's well, if he's in smoke already, he will be easy to hide. I can tell you from fire, personal experience. That. You cannot if the, if the, the the smoke is thick enough, you cannot see the fire beneath it. I'm just okay. going to tell you right now, it's a thing. Magical fire. Right. It's not magical fire, and you know it. <laughs> you know it's not. <laughs> so I want to put a round two where I think he is. Okay. I just, I may, if, maybe if I have enough success levels, I'll, I'll hit him or not. But this will be where I, will I con- last saw him. I'll consider this an aim shot, so you can take a shot at minus twenty. Okay. I'm gonna use my little scope thing, so I, that'll help me out with that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to use a fortune point. 
Take take that sixty nine. Come on, <laughs> come on, Wolfram. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking that crit. Hold on. Seventy one. Can I use my other my last fortune point? Sure. Why not, Wolfram? Hey, going Just for it. I'm being kind. Thirty nine under. 51, so that's one level of success. Okay. As you said, it was a, a negative 20? Yeah, it is. So, Wolfram... And my scope canceled out my fatigue, so... So, essentially what happens, Wolfram... So, no, you're a minus 20 plus your fatigue condition, so minus 30. Yeah, scope cancels out the Okay, uh, okay, cancel out well, the, It doesn't the, cancel, but yeah, so... It's yeah, I get point. what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Wolfram, because you were successful, you do not shoot either Nog or Henry because um, you cannot see them either within the cloud. However, you hear the pew of the bullet hitting a empty space where this man once was. You know, you knew that you you, you hammered the, uh, the round through where it should go. He's obviously not there. Hmm. I will get up and slowly walk over there. So stay out of the smoke, but See if any of my colleagues need to be dragged out or something like that. That'll be for Wolfram. Luther, would you like to do anything, Luther? Um, do I have a sense of where he is? You know what? Give me a perception test. I will allow this. Okay. Because of just because of what you are. Okay. I'm not very good at perception. This will be using your second Ooh. sight. Ooh. Uh, let me uh, uno memento. Uh, that is a that is a crit. Uh, Critical success. Under okay. Thirty five. Yeah. Um, I will say this, Luther. I'll pro this will probably have to be your action. Okay. Just because of what what I'm giving you here, somehow you it's almost like your eyes almost shift and you begin to see the winds of magic. Um, you peer through the material and into the immaterial, the chaos beyond the reality. And as you do, you fo you you follow the flame, the flickering, tiny little flame that's attached to his body. And you're able to point it out. And he appears to be down the alley and slightly around a corner. Okay. Um, I'm going to yell that out. Um, okay. And that's going to be my turn. It's going to be down the alley. Right here. Um, All right. Kind of directing be... traffic. Yeah. That'll bring us the nog then. Oh yeah. So this fella is still he's gone now. He's disappeared into the alley his back was against. But Luther did. Somehow he's able to sense it, Nog. It's very uh -huh. bizarre. But he's uh -huh. able to sense where this man is and he gives you direction. Because he's on fire. All right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to I'm going to uh, do another uh, swing swing with the centaur. Okay. Well, you try you immediately to run down the alley. It's it's yeah. tight. It's, it's yeah. big enough for you to fit, though. Good. I um, before you do that, though, Nog. Of course. Um, I need to make sure which skill I have listed here. Uh -huh. The anti ogre talent, I'm sure, that you've given this person. Anti oh no, there is no anti ogre talent. There oh, is, is there not? There is a there is yeah. a anti um, people pursuing me talent though. It's called oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. There oh, it is. is. So, That's what we were looking for. So I have to got the sure. evasive talent. Here, here it is. Okay. All right. What do you need? I think it's just perception. Okay. So give, me, give me a perception test. You have to beat his success levels for the trap that he set. Oh man, this is not gonna go well unless I just roll really, really, really well. Come on, super good roll. 
A six under, yes, That's under a thirty-six. Cool. That's three levels. Of three success. levels success. <laughs> Nog, you as you move forward, you um, I'll say that you don't. It's not that you see it. It's that you you sense that you're about to step on something. Yeah, and you kind of just lift your foot over it instead of stepping on it. Oh, ugh. um, you're like, huh. And you kind of like step Whoa. over it and you begin to run down the alley towards this man. Um, with with that good of a perception test, I'll even give you this. As you get to the end of the alley, you see that he is... Um, it looks like he is reaching into a satchel as you turn the corner and kind of like see yeah. him. And he's surprised to see you. Yeah, he is. Uh, it looks like he's reaching for something in the satchel as he looks up and he goes... Damn. He's about um, to reach for some your, pain. You make for your, make your attack knock if you'd like. That's right. Come on, big fancy, good roll again. Oh, that's terrible. I totally whiffed two failures. And not only did you whiff, I rolled very well on his dodge, so you're going to take significant Damn. damage from this one. Of I am. As you move, thing. as you move, he, he he like ducks underneath the blow that smacks into the the wall, caves in a piece of the wall that he was standing yeah. next to. And he's going to retaliate. You're going to take seventeen wounds, Nog. Yeah, across Where'd he hit head. me though. It was it would be the head. Oh, that sucks. So thirteen wounds minus after my toughness. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yep. Wow, as he, as he, sucks. Sli- he slices this you. This guy's hard. It kind of gets across your your jaw and down your neck. Yeah, he slices into you with the big knife and kind of pulls back in a defensive posture. He's like, "Damn it!" Oh, this guy. That's right. uh that's rough. That's, uh, he, this he did two swipes. This guy's taken two thirds of my wounds. He is an expert at killing people. Um, that's gonna be in for Renog's turn. Thought he took all my wounds. Yeah, I know, but you know, you're not as beefy as I am. That'll bring me to Lucien. What would you like to do, Lucien? I would like to run down the alley. Okay, give me a perception test, Lucien. That is... Look out for the trail. Uh, one level of success. One level of success. Sorry, Lucian, you needed two. I'll spend a fortune point. <laughs> to succeed. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, Lucian. You you begin to pursue after Nog coming out of the smoke. As you do, you see that there's a tripwire set real low, like thin. You hop over it. Um, seeing that it is attached to a small round device um, made of metal, looks like a grenade. Um, not that Lucian would know what a grenade is, yeah. but that might be what it's attached to. You jump over it and begin to pursue um, the helmed gentleman that has assaulted your party. Getting to run Nog is going to be iffy. I'll say that you're able to get down there next to Nog. He's so big, he clogs up the alley with his bulk. Can he do an agility check and scamp program? I'd allow that. Yeah, why don't you give me that, Lucy, and we'll see if you can slide past him to Plus, make I'm, an attack. I'm going to want to let him get by. I know you are going to want him, but you're, you're just, you're, you're an obstacle right now. Just a straight agility? Yeah, give me a. Well, make it a. Um, we'll make it an athletics. Since that's that is dex based. Oh man, not quite. Sixty doesn't pass for you. I'm surprised. No, it's sixty out of fifty-four. Oh, you're close. Sorry. Got any fortune left? I do. Am I within melee at this point, or do I do I still do I need to pass if, this to be within if, melee? If you were, if you pass the test, you will be within melee. You'll be able to kind of like parkour your way past Nog to get into melee with him. 
Yeah, I'll spend a fortune point and get get there. Okay. Right, Lucy, you kind of like as is is not kind of recoils. You're able to kind of like slide underneath his legs, pop out next to next to this man, who's also shocked to see you. Go ahead and make me a uh, attack roll, Lucien. I'm spending another resilience point. Oh my god! I I really don't like this guy. I'm glad you did because I rolled a three on his defensive roll. Yeah, I I, um, I would have needed to roll <laughs> an insane roll. So, okay, <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, where do you want to attack him? Uh, if Get I can see play. that opening in his armor, I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna okay. go. Go for go for you're going for the uh for the head again. We've kind of loosened some of his armor. He will expend his one more point of his armor, which he loses the chain mail around his neck. Now it's gone. Um, how much damage do you do maximum, Lucian? Uh, counting it as a one? Yes. That would be 13 wounds. 13 wounds. Okay. It's, 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 it's not good. It's not good at all. He looks... He looks taken aback as he kind of like like falls backwards as you slice yet again um, through the chainmail with your rapier, piercing into kind of like the under the under jaw area area of this man. As he stumbles backwards. <sighs> Damn it! This wasn't supposed to be this hard. All right. Is that going to be it for Lucien? Yeah, I'm gonna stand my ground. All right, that will then bring me to Henry. Is Henry going to pursue Luther? Uh, I feel like Henry probably would. Yeah, go and give him give me a perception test. He needs two levels of success to not trip the wire. I know. I feel like he his character would. I don't know if Alan would, but um, I'm doing it. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I doubt that's a pass. I can tell you that's a fail right now. Yeah, let me just see what it, how bad of a fail. Uh, what? I don't even have it listed. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna use the fortune. Oh, I don't know what I want to blow up right now. Mm, use fortune. Let's do it. Let's fail as well. Oh. Mm. Ain't gonna use a resilience to pass. <laughs> what? Ooh. This is bullshit. Oh man, that's, that's some heavy, bullshit. heavy guns. And he's not here to. Mm. Mm. He's probably not gonna like it, but he's gonna take it. Mm. I'm gonna be there when you tell him. He's a uh, well, right this now. point. And he's like, he's like, no, he. At the last second, he sees the trap, is able to jump over it. No one falling for the trap, I might add. All right. Um, there's no way. It's clogged now between Lucian and Nog. He'll get, like, he'll kind of shuffle in behind them, but that's pretty much what he's going to get right now. Okay. That is the end of the round. Um, uh, if you want to roll for your, your fire damage, you can. Oh, come on, Luther. Let's do it. Oh, that's D100. Uh, oh. One second. 22 damage has a oh. no, There's no way. Impossible. Uh, he'll take Better. seven points of fire damage. Okay. He will take two. All right. That's it for that. So, top of the round is our bounty hunter. <clears throat> As he sees Lucien now, his proper prey in front of him, Nog, the giant ogre, as well as Henry backing him up at this point, he looks towards you, Lucien, with his, his blade slick with Nog's blood, bleeding himself from several several wounds that you've inflicted upon him. You know what you did. If I die, more will come. 
I'm gonna attack with my rapier. Oh shit! Both of them improves. You're gonna you're gonna use your uh, your okay fast quality. Yep, you're fast. All right. Go ahead and give me an attack roll, Lucian. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on. That is oh. four four levels of success. I rolled a 98 on his uh, defense, oh, so he fails miserably. All right, uh, 38 is going to be a... Let's see where it hits. It's his right arm. Um, he's missing one piece of armor. Thank All right. You, yeah, so it does a little bit extra. So how many how many uh, wounds is that, Lucian? 10 wounds. 10? All right, it's reduced by... Okay. He's, he's still, even with some of his armor damaged, it's still it's still quite a bit, Lucian, as you, you slash through and he, you see him draw blood. <sighs> as he's not, he wasn't expecting you to, to react so quickly after just the initial slash. And, man, he's getting desperate. What's he going to do? He's going to die. He's going to try to get out of here. There's no way he's not. He's just going to stand there and take this. Um, Can't use that. No, he can. He's going to try. It might end poorly for everyone involved. Oh no. He reaches um oh. it like into his armor and pulls <sighs> out what looks like a like a necklace, like a medallion. There is some kind of trinket attached to it, etched with a green glowing stone. He grabs a hold of it and begins to say some strange babblish words to Luther Wolfram and Nog. I mean to um, Wolfram, excuse me, Lucien, Nog, and Henry. Wolfram's not there. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the three of you, he begins to babble nonsensically. Luther, um, with your previous check for looking into the winds of magic, you suddenly see the wind of shadow rapidly being drawn to this individual. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Um, let's see if he can do it. 12. He needed to get under a 20 for this (sighs) to react properly. If he wouldn't, it would have exploded. Um, However, it does what it's supposed to do. So he grabs a hold of it. As he does, Lucian, you watch as the the medallion crumbles underneath his hand into ash, and as it does, it turns into like, it looks like powder and then forms into a thick shadowy substance that begins to wreathe itself around him. He says, you'll see me again. Next time you won't see me coming. And as the shadow wreathes around him, within moments, he is gone. Damn. Dag nab it. We're out of combat. So he's legitimately gone. Like there's nothing to be done. Luther, if Luther was there, he would know that he utilized spellcraft. He utilized a spell to transport himself somewhere else. I got a quick question. Yes. Um, did I see the the bag come down from the sky? I mean, from... you would have. Yes. Can I do a perception check to see if I can see anybody up there or anything that might give us a clue of what's going on or or, or, that, or what his accomplice is to be gone if he had a compass? Yeah, let me see. I actually had something for this. Hold, please. It was... Where are you? There you are. All right, I do believe this was a... Give me an intuition test. Okay. Well, I'm not bad at that. 
Yeah, they have 50 tits, you're still on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a failure, though. 57? Failure? Uh, I barely failed it, yeah, but that's a failure. You look up towards one of the nearby rooftops. You don't see anything, Wolfram, and you're a fairly perceptive man. You kind of look towards the street, look around you. People are starting to slowly kind of like look out of places where they took they, they took cover from the recent um, exchange that just happened. The smoke is dissipated at this point. The, the smoke bomb is dissipated. <clears throat> I will remind you, there is a grenade um, set to a tripwire still um, in the alley that all of you notice at this point, but it's still there if someone were to leave it there. But for all intents and purposes, Wolfram, you're not exactly sure where that bag came from, and nothing seems out of place to you. Okay. Mm. You hear shouts and calls as it sounds like the guard are coming. I'm going to run to the mouth of the alley and shout that to my friends that the guard is coming. We need, we need, we need to move. Um, what, uh, this grenade and the tripwire, is it a really sophisticated trap or is it something that like, if I just remove the tripwire, I can take the grenade. It's, it's simple enough, but there is some delicacy to it, Lucien. You would have to disarm it. Now it's not a very high DC. But you still would have using, to disarm it. Using what skill? Sleight of hand. The dex roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't have sleight of hand, it's dex. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, that's it too. <laughs> We're just to leave it for some poor sap to find. <laughs> I mean, Kim oh, Trucker's going to blow himself up. Right, uh, can you find what? Like a... A p find a piece of rubble. Once they're out of the alley, a piece of rubble or anything. Just kind of like chuck it over there. Yeah, and just get back yeah. behind because I don't want to. Like that, that could easily. I be do done. my killings with purpose. I don't <laughs> want innocent killed. Exactly. Um, okay. As all of you uh, begin to move away, Wolfram, the last one, is Wolfram like takes like a rock, uh, not 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 something like huge, but big enough, and he's a. Wolfram's a good enough shot with most things. He's able to like chuck it towards the where you you see the the object. The the rock spins end over end, hits the where uh, the actual device itself, the kind of like cylindrical device, and it moves, shifting the the wire, setting off the uh, the trap. As there is a concussive boom, and um, the grenade detonates. There is a billow of smoke and the alley is clogged with rubble as mm. both sides of the building near it collapse in on themselves. It looks like if this would have gone off, it would have buried somebody and then blocked people from pursuing. How close are we to the almshouse? The alms, the, house, side of the, the alms house was just on the other side of the street where where this guy okay. was standing from. Dang. Okay. Now, there's more than one. There are yeah. quite a few alms houses. Maybe we go this to just happened to be the closest Plus, one. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, find a quieter. Let's pick around the part of the city. To... So you begin to gather your things, begin to flee. Wolfram nursing his wounded, his wounded shoulder. Oh shit. Uh, Luther says, Wolf am I? I can hear you. There are some risks. Um, do you consider yourself a a tough man? They are gentle ways me to, to go about this, Luther. Uh, how about I I spy my hand here? Very well, Lucian. Very well. You guys kind of like stop at one of the nearby junctions to, to, to scamper off to heal, to heal Wolfram. Go ahead, Lucien. Uh, that is a fail. Fail. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm still appreciative, and uh, I'm going to give him some powder and shot if he doesn't have some already. So we can I'm going to I'm going to spend my last fortune point to make that a straight success. Okay, 
strike success. All right, that will uh, one of your intelligence bonuses. That's how many wounds Wolfram will heal. Be three intelligence or three uh, three uh, wounds. So three wounds, Wolfram. That's Wolfram, three wounds. I am three more. I am right have. here. Um, ready and willing. Well, I, I saw how you healed that uh, that bounty hunter, so I'm fine. It's, uh, the, the winds of Akshi can be warm and inviting as well. As you see, uh, Luther's hands start to glow uh, red. Um, please, allow me. I kind of shift my powder pouch like away. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Very well. Yeah. All you must do is say the word. Mm-hmm. Perhaps when we are uh, in a more discreet location. Oh. I know Nog has some skill with it. Perhaps he can help me later too. Um, okay. uh, fatigue condition, I have to get a good good rest. Yes. Other, yeah, you have okay, to get a, a night a night's rest to remove one. Okay. Um, as you as this exchange happens, Lucian patches you up. Um, it's in a very quick fashion, not as not as sit down and and drawn out as you guys normally are. You get slightly patched up and then begin to head towards one of the many other alms houses um, located in the lower portions of the city. You've passed by a few. You may not know where every single one is, but you know of a few, to say the least. Um, let me... Actually, I'm going to have one of you roll me a d10. Can someone heal Henry as well? Can we say Lucian tried to heal Henry as well? Maybe... Uh, yeah, one of you can try. That's fine. I, I, will, I will try to heal Henry. Yeah, sure, why not, Nog? Roll a heal d10. Oh, Nog. I have the heal, I have the heal skill. have it. What's your test again? How about an eight? An eight. Oh, that'll, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, no, this is the D10 roll. You could roll. Oh, okay. The, uh, I still have to roll to feed, to heal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here goes for something low. Three under a forty. Oh, look at that. Eight. Look at that. Damn. That's four levels three. of successes. Or three. Jesus. So. Hey, when three, it, when it counts, no. I'm, I've got. I, I've just. You know. Two. Oh no, he's got just delicate hands, mate. You know, he just likes to weave in a bandage here, a little bit of spit there. You know, do you right up? What's your tell? I'm gonna. Can I try a heal test on myself as well? Uh yes, you can. A thirty. I have a thirty intelligence. So three. So three right. plus. It's seven. Or no, yeah, it's seven. Six. And then, I, seven then I rolled a six three six. on myself. Oh nice. man, those are fantastic nice. guys. Nice. Uh, hmm. Sorry, sorry. Between you and I, we got you patched right up. You go. All right, I'm going to stay at the back next time, anyways. So I'm at, I'm at full wounds again. The... I'm almost there. I just need uh, a Jesus. little bit more help. Wolfram, please allow me. <laughs> it's up to you, Wolfram. Yeah, I will allow right, it if I'm, you want I'm him gonna, to try it. Do it. All right, I'll take off my bandolier. <laughs> And take uh, all my flammable gear off and put it mm-hmm. on the side of the. Uh, are we in an alley or a street? I will say, yeah, you, probably, you guys probably started in your I'll alley. Walk, I will walk away, like maybe 10 feet away, and say, uh, Lucifer, my friend, please work, work your wizardry. Yeah. All right. You try a channeling test first? Yep, let's go ahead and do it. Are you gonna, do not you're going to try and heal him? Point. What have you uh, done? He's going to blow himself up. It's going to be fantastic. Fortune point to. Yes. <laughs> he's going to like to. Uh, <laughs> To succeed, we roll, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, hey, good. much better. Uh, that's gonna be all right. It's gonna be really hard for me not to pass this next time. So, you so that's just your channeling roll now. You gotta roll, that's the just extra my channeling. Roll. yeah. Okay, uh, but <laughs> it just misses, uh, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. You're lucky. Um, You're so lucky. The, the, so, excuse me, this never happened. Luther I'm gonna, I'm gonna you, pat Wolfram. him on the shoulder and say, has "Okay, have it." He, the best. you see it, you see yeah, his hand go brightening with with flame, and as he goes to touch you, it just slowly kind of dissipates. Yeah. Damn it! My, it seems to be get my gear back on. Performance anxiety. I'm <laughs> nervous. <laughs> The, the moment has passed at this point. Wolf is putting his yes. clothes back yes. on. Uh, it's not going to happen, Luther. I'm sorry. Mm. It's all right. All right. The, the almshouse that you all decide to approach is located actually on the docks. Um, it is near 
it, it's somewhat near the uh, the um, oh shit, what's it called? The watering hole. There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's near there. Um, it's it's like two blocks away from the watering hole, essentially. And you would know that there's a ton of like destitute beggars that kind of hang out in that in that area. So it should be a good place to get some information. As you begin heading in that direction, you turn a corner, and Henry, um, someone calls out to Henry. Sir Henry, is that you? Uh, Henry will turn around. He sees a one of the squires from the Knights Panther, and accompany it with three other um, squires from the newer recruits. They Does appear he know to the squire. Be, he doesn't know him by name. Okay, but he would at least recognize him. Uh, I, and I've seen him, and he, of course, there's the the uniform. Hey. Um, they appear to be wearing like uh, like light chainmail kind of armor, um, mm-hmm. mostly leather though. It's just like a chain shirt, basically. Um, a little, uh, a not great, but a passable sword on their hip, a shield on their back. Mm-hmm. There's four of them, and they are um, currently two of them are pulling a cart and the other two are kind of walking next to it. The cart is piled full of something, supplies or something. Um, Henry will say, hey. Oh, you've decided to help with the alms. We we have um, come to to see the alms house for ourselves. See the work. The the commander will be much pleased. Well, we were told that you you were not partaking, but are your friends also wishing to partake of the arms? They have showed an interest in uh, our order's work. Very well. Um, I don't know if we're taking the uh, the big one there, but I'm sure they I have enough that. for everyone. I don't believe they are joining. They are just uh, curious. Um, well, yeah, the work we've been doing with the poor. Of course, of course. Um, uh, that's neither hidden yet. We're, we're, we're just... We're, we're bringing alms... Well, we're bringing supplies to the house. If you'd care to help escort us. It would be our pleasure. Fantastic. What is your name, Squire? Uh, uh, one, one question, are there... Uh... Are there any oh. women there? They are male. Um, oh, uh, are you asking? And are you asking? I'm asking the person? if there's any women there. Yeah. Uh, there are. Uh, there's. Uh, there's a few in the kitchen. Doing. We would love to help. We would love to help assist. He kind of looks at you, Wolfram. He looks towards Sir Henry. Uh, Henry shakes his head and his. And his um... He just kind of nods. Knowingly, very well. Let's 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 head that way. Uh, they call me Badri. Badri. Very well, Badri. Badri, Shahid. Shahid. Though I've been told we are to be stripped of our second name, so I'm simply Badri of the Knights Panther now. Badri. I need to get used to that. Please don't, don't, don't tell the commander. Of course. I was a squire too, you know. Not too long ago. Oh, surely you jest. I have seen your skill at work. As this, it does not this jest. It does jest, though. I would. I, I am a, but a simpleton when it comes to the horse. But I, I am learning. Hope, hopefully, perhaps you'll give me a private lesson, Sir Henry. Perhaps. And, you know, I, there will be a time where I'm searching for a, a worthy squire. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, a couple of the other squires kind of, like, glare at Baudry for a Henry's, moment. Henry's chest is, is so it's, it's pronounced out. right now. It's so I mean, pronounced. He's feeling, he's feeling You know, 
you know, his, his, his posture straightens, you know, he's looking very, trying to look as regal as he can. Mm-hmm. One might say he's attractive, even. He's it's, attractive as well. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. I'm assuming Bob, he's got his helmet, like, kind of on, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, just kind of, yeah, a little bit. He's going to be carrying it under his arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. carrying it under his arm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. carrying yeah, yeah. it under his arm. Good, good look, yeah. good look. As, uh, as the squires kind of look at each other, and continue on towards the almshouse. That is where we are going to take our first break. <laughs>